Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with Season 1, Episode 3 of my AS Roma career mode series on Ultimate Difficulty. We're back on Viper's Realism mod here today. We're going to decide our league season. It's a close one. It's a one-point title race. We also have the Coppa Italia coming up. And we have some Europa League action as well. So, after 35 games played, Juventus sit atop of the league by a point. We are second, just behind. Now, we've already beaten Juventus this season once. And we've drawn against them. So head to head, we should go through. But I think goal difference uh, counts in career mode over head to head. I don't know exactly. We won't know until the final day, I guess. So we really want to try and go out and get ahead of Juventus on points. Inter in fourth, though. Lazio in fifth. Napoli sixth. And disappointingly, AC Milana in seventh. They're going to be in the Conference League if they don't get their act together. Obviously, finishing a in a Champions League spot this season. Uh, Fiorentina as well. They want to be making top 10. And Benevento, Parma and Spezia in the relegation scrap towards the end of the table. But it's, it's all to play for in this Jose Mourinho, Roma coach career mode. So, we're in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions. Uh, not UEFA. UEFA Europa League. <laughs> not the Champions League. We want to be there next season. That's the main objective overarching for the series. But, come on. We've got a chance to win the league or the Europa League. Let's go against Bayer Leverkusen. Um, but here are the other results, if you're curious. All right. Let's get stuck into Bayer Leverkusen. They are without, of course, Kai Havertz, but they've got a lot of top quality players. All right, welcome to the Europa League semi-final, where we start off the first leg of this campaign, while PSV Eindhoven and Gladbach battle it out in the other semi. Dzeko. Oh, gets tackled terribly. Leon Bailey, probably their best player, Jay Matter. That's not one Matter. That's that other Matter, I think. He's too big for him anyway. Juan Matter. Bellarabi! Ah, Leverkusen go 1 0 up. Away. At Leverkusen. We go one goal down. What a goal. We need away goals in this. Rudiger, Mikatarian plays it into Ed and Dzeko. Sees the run from Mikatarian. Oh, 1 1. He's been a godsend. If you've been watching the last couple of episodes, he scored two in the Coppa Italia to put us into the final. And he scored a good goal against Inter as well. Like, he has been really crucial for us. His veteran status. And experience is really shining through. 1-1. One, one. Smalling charging forward. The defensive monster. Pellegrini, the young prodigy. Dzeko over the top to Mikatanian At the stroke of halftime. What a huge morale boost to go into the dressing room with a 2-1 cushion. Thanks to Mikatarian. Those two away goals are so, so crucial. And it's a great strike there by Mickey. Mickey Targ, <laughs> Mickey Targaryen, Mickey Targaryen, at it again. Two goals in the in the Europa League. Mickey Targaryen just oozing with confidence going forward. Jacko beats his man brilliantly. Ho oh, ho! Top bins as well. He actually just murked Tapsuba, who is like one of the. Best generational centre backs in the game. <laughs> Did so so well there. I'm so happy, man. 3 1. Ball in now. Pellegrini whips it into the box. Giroud can't quite get to it. Zaniolo trying to track it. Pedro fresh off the bench to put his name on the score sheet. Pedro, man. I feel bad for you. We've put you on the transfer list. And that is one of very few goals. 
He's gonna score this season, I guess. I don't think he, I don't think I've scored a goal with him once in the league. Maybe in like a simulation match. But 4-1. Pedro, fresh off the bench, being dropped for Luis Diaz, who we brought in, uh, the Colombian from FC Porto. And that's probably it. 4-1. What a drumming away. We look set on for the Europa League final now. Let's go. So here's the league table. Once again. Yeah. So we do have the goal difference on, on them, which is important. Okay, so we've got four matches. We can simulate against Spezia because they're getting relegated. And we'll play the Coppa Italia, would you believe it, against Lazio. It's a Rome final. And Man City face Juventus in the Champions League. Wow, let's hope they focus on that rather than the league. But Man City or Juventus could win the Champions League final. And we've been drawn against Gladbach. PSV Eindhoven knocked out. We're a, he we're a point ahead against Juventus, though, crucially. Okay, let's get stuck into the Coppa Italia. Ultimate difficulty, let's go. Man, oh man. At San Siro, Lazio face Roma. Our first opportunity for silverware this season. Let's get stuck into Lazio. Come on, come on. Mikatarian, Diaz, puts it on a plate for Dzeko, nice one-two pass, Diaz has massively rose to the occasion there, he has adopted his new life at Roma, it's Luis Diaz, the Colombian from Porto, come on, he is Roma through and through now, nice one-two pass, sets him through, he is a perfect replacement, for Pedro. Quick, fiery, high octane on the front foot. He could be the next James Rodriguez. Celebrating there. His first in the Coppa Italia. Immobile. Lazio still not down and out for the count. Smalling has to come out. Gets done. It's Immobile. Diawara can't get back. Post goal still though 1-1 one, one at San Siro Lazio answer 17 minutes in so so quickly man the pressure's getting to me Serie A's still there the Coppa Italia in the Europa League if we can go for a clean sweep we can win a treble or we none and fall into ruin now, oh, Alonso comes forward. Mikatarian flicks it to Dzeko, who shoots and scores. Turns his man brilliantly and scores a beautiful goal at the end of it. And he rips out the motorbike. <laughs> oh, I love that. If you guys are Australian or watch AFL, he's done the, the Charlie Cameron there. That's a really niche reference. Ripping out the motorbike. Yeah, it's a celebration that an AFL player does a lot. 2-1, <laughs> though. Pellegrini, Mayo, Mayo Oral, haven't played with him much this season, oh hang on, oh he's popped up with a goal there, Giroud was a little bit exhausted, it's Mayo Royal who we've not played at all this season, it's just like you have a choice between Dzeko, Giroud for two strikers and especially with his potential going down, look maybe if one of those strikers retires, or leaves next season, we could bring in the former Galactica back into the mix. Let me know. And that's it. 3-1. Roma are victorious here today in our first piece of trophy silverware. We've won the Coppa Italia. Oh, it's so good to be celebrating with the boys. One down, potentially two to go. Chris Smalling, Mike Smalling, is going to wear the captain's armband, lift the trophy. We have won the Coppa Italia, our first piece of major silverware for Roma. Get in. Man, could you imagine if Jose Mourinho wins the Coppa Italia in his first season? Crikey, only time will tell.
Okay, here we go. Last day of the season, a point. Imagine, we could lose on 97 points against Udendesne. Or Udendesne. I don't know, I can't remember how you say it properly. Anyway, let's get stuck into them. At home, we've got the home field advantage. We need to win only a point against Juventus. We can't afford to draw or lose. Mikatarian picks up the ball in the 15th minute. Kumbula, Giroud, Zaniolo. We have to play with the second team because I want to prioritize the Europa League. We should be able to beat Juden Desney though. Giroud! Oh my god, he scored a ranger there. I ran out of space. I just had to lash at it. What a strike! A sensational goal by Giroud! Wearing the captain's armband for Roma 2, my second team. Roma 2! He's actually hit it with his right foot there as well. And Roma go 1-0 up. A crucial goal in a crucial time. Giroud scores his fourth. Zaniolo back to Giroud. Oh my god, they're both on a similar wavelength. And Giroud has rocketed his second. He scored a brace. He doesn't know what to do with his hands. He's ecstatic on the touchline. 2-0. Oh my god. Giroud. Pedro. Giroud. To win Serie A with a hat-trick. Oh, of course he does. People were criticizing me massively. Like, why would you sign Giroud? That's why I scored him. <laughs> He's such a clutch player. Especially in the Italian league. Look, do you sign him in the Prem? Maybe not. But the aging striker just has something to offer still. Zaniolo! Shot blocked. Nice little check shot against Musso. And Juden Desne. I've always said Juden Desne. But I think Juden Desne, I think, as, as well. Anyway, Zaniolo to score. Oh, that's all right. A nice little tucked goal into the bottom right. I'll take that. Snatch and grab at the moment. Trying to get those last little goals. But it looks like we're going to win this match easily. Oh, hang on. Juden Desne. Oh, wow. They've still got goals in their locker. We give them one opportunity in the 86th. And he smashed that home. Near post OP as well. Crikey. But 4-1's enough. And what are the results at Juventus? It looks good. We're celebrating. We have won Syria by only a couple points. Giroud lifts the trophy. It's either going to buy three points or a point. I don't know yet. But Roma are the champions, champions. Ole, ole, ole. We've nailed the title, and we've won the Coppa Italia. Oh my god, guys, check this out. So after 38 games played, Roma win with 32 wins, 4 draws, and 2 losses, with a goal difference of 74 on 100 points. Juventus lose by a point. This is the craziest title race. I have ever had in FIFA. I'm just not FIFA 21, not FIFA 20, FIFA. I ha I don't think I've ever gotten a hundred points in Italy, and Juventus chased me with 99. That just shows you how competitive the AI is on FIFA's realism mod. Atalanta finish in third with Champions League football. A uh, Inter Milan as well in fourth. Lazio in 5th, AC Milan in 6th get Europa League, so we've qualified for Champions League. Oh no, Napoli, they don't get any football. In real life, they'd get the Conference League, but yeah, they are usually Champions League um, contenders. They, they have, uh, like, if I, if I had to, like, the last 10 years, the last decade... I would say Napoli have probably been the best European side in Italy. 
like arguably. So we've won the league in our first season, the Coppa Italia, and we have an opportunity in Season 1, Episode 4, coming out tomorrow, to win the UEFA Europa League against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Huge, huge. We're really living up to Jose Mourinho's trophy-winning ways. I will do Season 2, regardless of the European final result, as I want to try and rebuild this Roma side further and try and win the UEFA Champions League with Roma. That's what I really want to do. If it takes me one, two, three, four seasons to win the Champions League, we'll do it. We're going to continue this series until we win it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for Episode 4 coming out the exact same time tomorrow, and I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video, and feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimCTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.